I am now going to replace the belts in the Yamaha KX930 cassette deck. I got another one of these ridiculously overpriced belt kits off eBay, simply because I have not yet found a good source for flat belts. These round belts are no problem, but the flat belts, if you have a good source for those, let me know in the comments. Right, so the first step in replacing the belts will be removing the mechanism. And there is two screws on the top. This one has a ground lead attached to it. So I get that out of the way. And then we have four more screws. And to this screw attaches the other end of the ground lead. I don't know what they were thinking there. So I'll have to remember to put this ground lead back into place. these two screws out. Right, uh, next I'm going to remove all these connectors. See this one is socketed right there. Oh dear, that was violent. Those are the heads and more heads. And then, see, we have this black thing goes over there. There we go. And yeah, then this remains and I think I should now be able to slide this out. Service manual says slide it out towards the front. There is these catches in the bottom panel. Okay, there we go. And oh, I missed this connector and okay so we now have the mechanism separated from the rest of the deck and I already got my hands dirty so I need to take off this uh, plate right here to gain access to the first belt and this is this just clipped in place unfortunately this uh, service manual is hideously bad aha it's clipped in okay Oop. And okay, that's that out of the way. And in here we should find the first belt. But I don't. What? There is a spring right there that grounds the plate right there, so that can't get lost. I'm sure I'm going to forget to put this back in. <sighs> now where it is, where is that first belt? Do we have any... Oh! 
Okay. Right. Uh, turns out the small belt is this thing that I just found. And I was getting confused because there is a belt supposed to go right in there, but there is no belt. Okay, so now that we know that there once was a belt, we can go ahead and correct that problem. Interesting that the mechanism still worked even without the belt. So, uh, there is some belt stuck in the take-up reel, so... Time for some cleaning. We might get lucky and it's not totally dissolved. Here we go. Okay, that's the first bit out. But wait, there is more. Okay. That looks clean. Do we have any belt stuck to this wheel? No, we don't. Don't. That's good. Okay. Let's just make sure that's clean. Okay, so belt number one is out. I got these dentist's tools off eBay. Let's see. I got them specifically for replacing belts, so we'll see how that goes. Well, it's good for fishing out the belt. That's really a tiny little belt. Oops. Come on. And, yep, here we go. That looks good. Make sure you can see that. That's the first belt replaced. Right, now I guess it's going to get uh, more complicated. That's the capstan belt. Now the problem I'm having with that is uh, this replacement belt seems awfully short. So I hope it's going to fit. Anyway, so uh, next step is going to be getting this plate off. Uh, is this going to be able to clear that circuit board? That's the question. Because taking out that circuit board won't be fun. Uh, I think yeah, I think I'm gonna try. Okay, but before I do that, I have to cut this cable tie just so that I can. Yeah, we're gonna leave that in place so that I can replace it later on. And I gotta get this. Uh, plate freed up and out of the way because this is going to get scratched and damaged if it keeps dangling around like that. Oh, I'll have to... <laughs> I'll 
I'll have to cut that uh, cable tie anyways because uh, I'll have to uh, detach these brackets on either side. Let's bring out this thing. Make sure I don't mess up the head alignment. Okay. So that. Now you can't get these brackets mixed up, so I'm just going to remove them and yeah, that won't fit. Okay, let's see. Aha. Number one. No, yeah, it is going to come off somehow. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And this side. That screw right there. Now this bracket. Okay, it comes off, and these cables are, that's that. Now the next step will be, there is a, there is these two screws holding the plate in place. I want to see if I can get this cable out of the way. Yes, I can. All right. That doesn't look pretty. And that way I'll get this back together the right way around. I'm going to bend these tabs up so that I can remove these wires, but I might end up having to unsolder up there which would be annoying. And then, okay, now the third, there is two screws here holding this in place. The third screw, as you can see, is hidden up there and that comes through from the other side, right there. So let's see, that's, that's totally wrong. Ooh, that's a long one. Okay, and are we going to have some more long ones? No. Okay, so those are right. Shouldn't be able to get them confused with any other screws. Okay, and now comes the exciting part that I'm not looking forward to. Can I get this? This is not... Hold on. Okay. Turns out there is a second screw that the service manual does not even mention. The service manual is absolutely terrible. Let me get this bracket out of the way. Probably have to forget, I'll probably forget putting that back. All right, that's... Well, at least it seems to be the same length as the other very long screw. That's okay, and now, right, now that we've found the hidden screw, this very simply comes off. So, 
that's not let's let's be very careful so that we don't okay ah okay see we have uh, have that right there so if i i can take the belt of the motor pulley and hook that over there and now i can take the back plate out hopefully and we don't lose the way the belt is threaded you can't even see can you see that not really yeah the stupid cable is in the way but i can't get it out of the way unless i unsolder it which i don't want to do so the belt just simply loops all around like so and yeah, motor pulley is clean so that has not started deteriorating yet so let's take out the original belt Ooh, this is loose this is very loose yep there we go and i can get the new belt out am I going to do that now? Okay, I'm going to, let's see, we're going to put the belt over that little hook and then around here. Come on, come on, come on. <sighs> and it's twisted. There we go. Okay, so we got that all around, just like the previous belt was. Now as we let's take a brief moment, yeah. We do have grease up in there, so I don't, I'm not going to re-lubricate the capstans. I don't think that's going to be necessary. This is, you know, this is grease from the 90s. That should still be good. Or should I? Let's see. What does it take to take out the capstans? Uh, let's... This is where everything could go horribly wrong. These things. Huh. Oh dear, see, this is where the perfectionism kicks in. We have the new belt in place, but now I'm wondering. Oh, that's, oh, that spins very freely. Yeah, that's okay. We're not going to mess with it. Now oh, let's do this all once again. Of course, now I now the belt is dirty. Isn't that nice? Eh, see, that's that's what perfectionism does to you. You're doing everything twice, and it would have been better if you just let it be the first time you did it. Right, let's just use... You can't see a thing. There we go. That's in place. Right. Okay, now this needs to go back down. Needs to go back down. Somehow this cable now well, it hasn't ripped off anywhere, but it suddenly seems to be longer than it was before. Okay. Now, we got to take the belt off that post. 
and move it over to the motor. Like so. That's that. <laughs> okay. Now the belt seems to be a little bit too small. It does have a lot of tension. But let's put the first screw back in place. So I can do that. There we go. Okay, that's number one. Do number oh, I feel like I'm bending everything all over the place on the front. That's not good. Okay, this lines up like so. I can put these coarse thread screws back in. See, time flies when you're doing this. Feels to me like I've been at it for five minutes. But in real time, I can see on the camera we've been doing this for almost half an hour now. I'm going to tighten down these screws later. Meaning probably never because I'm going to forget about it. Put through that screw. And yeah, that's that has gone through. So, okay. Got that. Now we have two screws left over and I have already forgotten where they went. Oh, for the side brackets, okay. Okay. Now I gotta fix this mess. <laughs> okay, yeah, the, the blue wires went in first, then came the gray wires, like so. Bent that back down. That's that. And this went in like so. I have a feeling there was... Was there another set of cables down there? Okay, I think... Okay, that's probably all horribly wrong, but it'll have to do. Right, as we take a look at the front, no obvious damage. Oh, see, there we go. That's what I wanted to do on the front, get this piece back in place. Oh, mm -hmm. I should tighten down that screw before I do. Okay, that hmm. seems like that can be tightened down infinitely, which is not good. I'm just going to leave it alone, tighten down that screw. That's now in place. Yeah, and that's now turning nice and freely. Tighten down that screw. Okay, that's good. And see, there is a new belt. If I turn this, yeah, let's turn. Yeah, see, there we go. That all seems fine. Yeah, see, the belt tension is correct because it's the belt has automatically aligned itself with the top of the pulley. If it's too loose or too tight, it'll always tend to go off to one of the sides. Right, we got two more screws to tighten down here. Oh, 
one and two. That's good enough. Okay. I think I think it's time to put these brackets back in place. Hmm. This is going far too well, I have a feeling. Got this wire through there. And let's see. Okay. That, okay, that goes up like so, and there is the screw hole. And this is where I'd like to have three hands. Blah. It's not slip. Okay, that's on there tight. And the other one. Goes on like so. Oh, this is, yeah, see that wire does not belong there. That, Slide that up and yeah, see that yeah, that wire is out of the way. Why am I whispering like that? Okay. Right. Well, that uh, that doesn't look too bad. These gray wires are. No, they are in place. Just got to make sure if I screw this back in, you, you can't have a wire like right there because then this is going to pinch it, which wouldn't be good. Maybe if I... Okay. That's not moving anymore, I don't think. So, next step is... That's still there. Still amazed that the cassette deck would actually work without this in place. You know, without the belt in place. There's that. Okay, next thing is this decorational plate. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, this is... This is where things get really complicated. Almost would have forgotten that grounding spring. So that went on here. I think it did. I hope it did. <laughs> well doesn't seem totally out of place there, so I'll put it right there. Okay. Now this. Oops. Oh, that's already... Yeah, that's one of the clips that's already trying to engage. It's not... Uh, it's getting caught up on something. Oh, 
Okay, it hooks in from behind. And then, well, I guess then you just, no, you don't push it in. Well, there it is. It's halfway in place. That's now all kinds of horrible. There's nothing in the way, so that's, it must be that clip. Ha! Okay. That looks good. Okay. So now that you've seen how to replace the belts in here, I will now double check my work and put the deck back together.